his clumsy handling of this unfolding sexual harassment scandal proves that Herman Cain does not have the intelligent judgment necessary to be President of the United States. Hi, I'm Cameron Turner. If Herman Cain was a little bit smarter and a little less arrogant, he would have anticipated this crisis and prepared for it. After all, he's always known that he was accused of sexual harassment during his period as president of the National Restaurant Association back in the late 1990s. So, at some point over the last 12 years, Mr. Cain should have developed an action plan, a strategy for effectively and consistently responding to this information once it came out. Instead, Cain made himself look inept and dishonest by first evading, then denying, and then ultimately admitting that yes, he had been accused of sexual harassment during his time at the NRA, and yes, the NRA did cut a check to the accuser in exchange for her silence. You take this remarkably poor bit of crisis management and add that to Herman Cain's already long list of blunders, including his contradictory statements on abortion, his callousness toward the unemployed, his alleged joke about dealing with immigration, illegal immigration, by erecting a 20-foot electric fence with a football-sized moat full of alligators in front of it, his ignorance on important foreign policy points, including Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, the Palestinian right of return, the treatment of Guantanamo Bay detainees, and most recently China's nuclear capability. And then, the lamest, biggest blunder of all, Herman Cain's insistence in supporting and advocating the 999 tax plan, which the nation's economists agree will actually raise taxes on the poor and the middle class. So Herman Cain's mishandling of this sexual harassment scandal is really just another in a series of events which demonstrate Cain's poor judgment, his casual relationship with the facts, and his lack of knowledge on important policy matters. Any one of those, and certainly all of those, would be disastrous in a president of the United States. I'm Cameron Turner. That's my two cents.